Jesus has done for us, and then we're going to sing, I've decided to follow Jesus, and then we'll get in the water. My dad couldn't be here today. Uh, he's down with his mom. I think he just looked at the weather and saw that it was going to be cold and rainy today. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so he's in Texas. But I'm going to read a few passages from the book of Romans. Romans chapter 5. This is, this is the reason that, that we get baptized. So it says, in Romans chapter 5, verse 1, Therefore, being justified, we're already justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Verse 6 says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet for adventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen? Amen. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And then chapter 6 talks a little bit about baptism, but it doesn't talk about water baptism. It talks about what water baptism is a picture of. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back. Yeah, I'm going to go on it. 
Seth, I need a hand. Yes, <laughs> a big boy. <laughs> sin for 10 plus years I prayed only to die and uh, God has done a lot in my life in the last couple years since I got sober and I'm here to show everybody publicly that he's working in my life so do you believe that Jesus Christ died to pay for your penalties or pay the penalty for your sin I do and that, you, that he's taken all his sin all your sin upon himself I do and that you're washed clean yes sir all right, my brother, because of your confession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his death. of lives and this is my way of expressing my love publicly for, for God. <laughs> you believe that Jesus has taken all your sin oh, and washed you clean? I do. Oh. All right. We won't know. Okay. All right, sister, because of your confession, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death. says, I've been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. The life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith. The Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. We're doing that today, we're showing I've been crucified with him, and I live with him. Alright? Because, because of your so, confession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, so 
Because of your faith in Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Put down the likeness of your death. <laughs> She'll have something to say. <laughs> right. Because what we talked about the other night, and because of your faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your only hope of salvation, I'm baptizing you today as a witness before all these people that you love Jesus because he loves you, all right? And that you choose to follow him, all right? That your life is no longer your own, but his, because he purchased it, all right? Baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Conform to His death.
We're lowering you down into the water and it's like a picture of his death. And when you come back up, it's like a picture of how he rose from the grave. So go ahead and hold your nose. Oh.